The first arrest was when he was in town and he was abducted. The people who came were officers and they had Subarus and uh, they arrested him. And him, believing that they were having good intentions or that they were genuine people, he accepted to go with them. When they sandwiched him, he knew he was going to a police station. As it ends up, he ended up in a forest. So you can see from the word go, policemen are involved. And this sends a very wrong message. He goes and reports what has happened to him in the forest and everywhere else. So the first information report to a station of any kind is from Echesa. He reports at the police station and uh, the matter is taken to current police station. The DCI takes it over. The next time he is called, he goes to record the statement and the next time he is called, he thinks that he's going to further up with the more information. He is then arrested. Remember, he's the complainant. But now he's being arrested without knowing what the reasons are. He's arrested and he's taken now to, uh, from there to DCI. Now, we have been able to look at the OB and there are three offenses that they are trying to put there. That he has obtained money by false pretenses, that he has uh, done what you call cyberbullying, and uh, also conspiracy to defraud. Remember, all along he has spent his money to pay for clips that find Mr. His Excellency Baraza in very compromising positions of very many situations. He has not demanded money from him. He's the one who has spent his money to safeguard him. He has not conspired with him. It is only him who spoke to them, to the governor. He has not taken any money and he has not... Uh, bullied that gentleman because the only time he sent these clips to him is when the uh, Barada said where are those photos if you go back to the clip whereby you are seeing that uh, Mr. Echesa is in uh, the back of a car or a van or a car you are hearing clearly the governor asking where are those photos remember now he's the one who's demanding for photos what does that show you nothing has ever been sent to him Nothing has ever been demanded from him. He is behind the arrest of Mr. Echesa and taken to the forest. Why? After being driven for, 20, for 40 minutes and another 40 minutes, where is he found? He is found in a forest. After speaking to Mr. Barazan says, take him. If at all, if at all, we have to go back and see uh, the, the issues that surrounded Mr. Baraza winning elections, maybe using Uganga, we need to start by nullifying his election. Because then how did he win his election? Was it by use of Uganga? It, it brings question. The complainant is the chaser in initial, but now it is, now it is, no, there is no name of even the complainant. But we have been informed very clearly that it is uh, the governor. He's, com he's, co he's complained that money has been extorted from him. His name has not appeared. The amount of money has not been put on record. The time and place is not there. Uh, the nature of the conspiracy is not there. The demand uh, for whatever amount or whatever it is is not there. I don't think that even when they try to say that he obtained by false pretenses, pretending to be what? Pretending to be who? So at the end of it all, it's a conspiracy, and, and this is why we are saying the reason why a chaser has been put in custody all this time is to ensure that, first of all, he submits, he gives out maybe photographs that they believe maybe he has, and to heal from the injuries that he suffered. One thing is this, he has an operation, which they know clearly, which he has shown them that he needed to have gone for review today and for the stitches to be checked and for him to be in a clean place, which has not been done. So kind of people who are involved in this conspiracy that has turned upside down or on its head must be high up, must be high up and must be influential such that a complainant is turned into an accused person and kept in custody beyond this constitutional rights and for all this period of time. We are going back to those days. We, we, I, I tend to think that the justice system in this country, while we thought it was improving, has gone back to the dogs. And, and I tend to think that uh, even for a person that you have called, who has come to the station, who has come to, to record a statement, 
has not absconded, has not threatened anybody. You come and deny him bond. You keep him beyond for, uh, 20, for uh, 24 hours. You don't take him to court. You still insist that he should be held in communicado. His family cannot see him. He's not being given food. He does not have water. Is there anything beyond torture that he has not met? This is totally wrong. And we need to re-examine this and they need to set him out on bond. If at all they care about his human rights or fundamental rights, the first thing is we should let him go to hospital. Because if he gets an infection, then it's going to get worse. Yes. Have you tried to ask the police company? What are they? What are they saying? We have asked. And they're saying that they're still investigating. Does not stop you from releasing him on bond. This is not a capital offense case. This is a case where even the OCS has a discretion of releasing you on bond. But the OCS has been instructing that this person should not be seen. An OCS is the rank of a chief inspector. For him to take those orders and obey them even if they are wrong, must be from a person of a higher rank or somebody much more influential. So, uh, him being there and being held beyond that hour, the only thing we can do is insist that they need to release him on bond because it's unfair. He's, he's, in as much as they, they are saying there is a complainant, there is also the reason the fundamental rights are there is to prevent that person from suffering from excesses that we are seeing today. How can you deny somebody food? How can you deny him water? How can you deny him medical treatment? How can you deny taking him to court? Those are the first four basic fundamentals. And then the lawyers have got to go and plead with the uh, investigating team of the DCI officers 